Hello my amazing people, welcome back to the channel. Now in this tutorial, we're going to learn three fun things. One, we are going to learn how to create an Instagram access token, and then we'll learn how to integrate this Instagram access token into our WordPress website using the new Instagram API, and then we'll display an Instagram feed on our WordPress website. I'm also excited to show you another way on how you can integrate or showcase your Instagram content on your WordPress or Elementor website for free using a free widget from PowerPack from Elementor. And before we dive straight into the video, please make sure that you get yourself a copy of my WordPress beginner toolkit by using the link in the description box below. And if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and also like the video if you like it. And now let's jump straight into the video and get started. Now in this video, I want to show you how you can display your Instagram feed on your Elementor website using the new Instagram API. And in the new Instagram API, it actually requires you to create an Instagram access token that you'll have to enter into your WordPress website to be able to access and showcase your Instagram content on your WordPress website. So the first thing we are going to do to be able to display this kind of widget on our WordPress website, we are going to first of all to create an Instagram access token. And this access token will enable us to actually display this content anywhere we decide to use the Instagram widget on our WordPress website. And the beauty about the Instagram widget we are going to be using in this tutorial is from PowerPack and it's for free to use on your WordPress website. To create our Instagram access token, you're simply going to come over to this kind of URL, developers.facebook.com. And once you are on this page over here, you're simply going to go over here to my apps. And under there, you're going to be able to create your Instagram app or the app that is going to enable you to generate the Instagram access token. You simply click over here to create an app and you're going to just come down below here to more options and then say continue. And then you're going to say something else and then you're going to still say continue. And over here, you're going to add the display name for your app. Just make sure it doesn't have anything to do with FB or Instagram or Facebook or anything like that. So I will just name this display photos feed, something like that. The contact email, I'll simply just enter in my email. So I'll just leave this as it is over here. Then I create the app. So I perform the security check. I choose bicycles good submit and over here i'm going to scroll down and then i look up for instagram basic display i'll click on setup and then i'm going to scroll down below here and i'm going to say create a new app and i'll just leave this app to be still display photos feed i'll create the app and over here i'm going to add in the uris that are required in this case, we're going to be using the Elementor add-on called PowerPack for Elementor because it's the one that's giving us access to the Instagram API. We'll simply add our URLs from PowerPack. For the valid auth redirect URLs, you're going to simply api.powerpackelements.com forward slash Instagram dash token. And for the deauthorized URL, you're going to add powerpackelements.com. And for the data deletion requests, you're going to simply enter PowerPack elements com to first come down below here and then we save changes we are going to add or remove an instagram tester and we are going to come below down here and then we add instagram testers so add instagram testers and at this point we are going to add an instagram tester and this should be a valid instagram account so i'll add my instagram account so it shows up actually here then i'll submit now i've added my instagram tester profile what I need now to do is to approve this request. So I'll click over here and then I'll go to Instagram and I approve this request. I have to be logged in, so I'll continue as my username. So you're automatically redirected to the option of apps and websites and you're simply going to come over here to the tester invites and you'll see an invite which is called display photos feed, which is the app we created in the Facebook for developers. So we'll accept this invite. And once it is accepted, we come back over here we are going to simply reload this page. And when you come back here to apps and websites in Instagram, you realize that this is actually approved or authorized. So I'll come back to Facebook and I'm going to come down below here to Instagram basic display. And then I'll come to basic display the option. Once we are on this page under the basic display, we are simply going to scroll down below here and we're going to simply click generate token. So a pop-up will show up and boom, here is where our Instagram generated access token is. So I'll simply say understand 
and then I can copy this token under my WordPress website I'll come to plugins add a new plugin search for power pack it's one word then simply install the power pack elementor add-on and then activate I had already installed it so I'll simply activate now once it's activated here it shows up so I'll go to settings and under settings make sure that your Instagram feed is actually enabled or is active then we are going to simply go to pages and under pages we will simply open up any page where you want to display your Instagram feed in this case for me it's the contact page so I'll go to the contact page which is already opened up over here so opened it up with Elementor because I'm going to use an Elementor widget from Powerpack for Elementor I'll simply just add over here a new section and it's going to be a one column section and I'll come here to the widgets area I'll search for Instagram which is the Instagram feed by Powerpack I'll drag it over here to the canvas I'll just make sure I enable the Instagram API and then I'm going to add our access token here so I'll simply just paste the access token then I have all the options I can show how many images let me say 15 images I can choose to decide the image resolution these are all settings just like you wish I wish maybe to have only three columns so I don't want to show comments I don't want to show likes I simply just want them to open up in a light box and if they want to access my Instagram account here is my username and a link to my Instagram profile so I can simply now just save changes and I come over here to see how it looks like it looks pretty neat you can also add a column gap for each Instagram post for example when I come back here under columns I can add a column gap can be a percent maybe also a row gap of maybe three percent there we go I update come to my preview ah, looks neat so in a nutshell that's how you can create your Instagram access token and then use the new Instagram API to display content on your Elementor or WordPress website Thank you so much for watching in case you're new to the channel please don't forget to hit like button and also subscribe to the channel because that actually helps me out have a good time and goodbye